Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> ladies and gents, I told y'all, hey, shit Easton, and Kenny Rogers, and you know, we've got tonight. Hey, I guess that's where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, I've always liked this song. That's going to be in our background, but as a matter of fact, I'm going to pause them so that I can give you guys this information. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as you are reasonable with your arbitration agreements, as long as you're reasonable with the amount, for instance, individuals who are incarcerated, the arbitration just has to be for $1.6 million per day or below. Just that simple. You use the Trizavant case, Trizavant versus the city of Tampa Bay, where a jury decided that he was to be awarded $23,000, or was it $25,000 for 23 minutes of incarceration? Unlawful incarceration, which equates to $1.6 million to $1.8 million per day. So we say, keep it safe, $1.6 million per day. You follow the instructions. Look, there are tons of videos. Look, it says, I made a killing delivering contracts through arbitration. So can you. Go ahead and watch it. See what it says. Follow it. Ladies and gentlemen, look, my SAP pack gifts to the United States. Arbitration award. Household goods defined. These all talk about arbitration. We did that for you guys. Okay, not him. That ain't me. You only want to go to that symbol. Don't go to all these other people because they're not going to explain arbitration to you. They're going to explain the, the stuff that you're not going to get here where I'm going to show you the law. Now, wait, hold on. This is a sample notice of fault opportunity to cure. You're going to have to read that video because you're going to have to create, 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 create your own notice of fault opportunity to cure. Then you're going to have to create your own notice of default intent to arbitrate document. You're going to have to create those documents. So look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can. I have some buffalo shrimp. Buffalo buffalo shrimp. Never had buffalo shrimp before, but these are buffalo shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, bubblegum shrimp, popcorn shrimp. You know, anyway, buffalo shrimp that's cooking. It tells me in my uh, air fryer that it has 18 minutes to go. So for those 18 minutes, Almost. You guys got my attention. Now, hold on. We, uh, somebody was asking me uh, uh, some questions the other day during a consult, and I told him to go to arbitration and do arbitration. Told him the arbitration process will solve the whatever problem he was telling me about. I explained to him that in addition to what I had already told him, do the arbitration. See, he needed to create credits, tax credits. Now, y'all need to understand, as long as you're honest, as long as you follow the rules, then watch the video, the contracts. Where do I find an arbitration agreement like you talk about in the video? Well, the video tells you, but you're going to go here. S is in Sam, A is in Apple, A is in Apple. SAA Limited, L-I-M-I-T-E-D, SAALimited.com, SAALimited.com, SAALimited.com. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to learn something today, and I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. You're going to go to contract templates. Oh, those of you who are dealing with the police, I don't know why y'all don't pay attention to the videos. Here's your right to travel contract video. Here's your incarceration contract video. Here's your infant estate contract video. Here's your other debt resolution. This is for mortgages and every other debt because it has a redemption coupon, a money order included inside. Do you have to complete the arbitration process? Technically, no. Pay attention. Technically, no. You just have to document the debt, and then you go. Pay attention. Y'all need to pay attention. You're going to go to YouTube. Hurry up, YouTube. I ain't got all day. Google has been taking a little time letting me get to YouTube. They, they don't like the fact that I got my uh, history turned off. Turned off. So you can go to Eon, 
And when you go Eon, you're going to go space and you go successful. L-L-Y. Successfully. And just put Eon successfully. Nope. You can't do Eon successfully because it ain't going to give it to you. Because there's only one video that says successfully in it. And <laughs> it didn't do it. So let me tell you what you're going to do. Like I told you, it wants to play games. So you're going to go 1099C as in Charlie. Enter. So Eon 1099C successfully. There you go. Successfully completing the 1099 c You're going to just do the 1099 c You're going to forgive them of the debt that's listed in the contract. You're going to follow the steps in the video. You're going to forgive the other party of the debt that's in the video. Then you're going to, anybody, IRS, anybody in their grandmama, ask you any questions. Anybody say anything to you. You can't do that. Don't you get the law? <laughs> T O P I C 453 453. You're going to go to IRS Tax Topic 453, ladies and gentlemen. And when you go there, you're going to click on this one. You're going to click on the IRS one. You're not going to click on all the other ones talking about bad debt. Guess what you're going to do? Pay attention. I want you because you need to pay attention to this. Because I got to do this for myself. You're going to hit print not save as print and once you hit print you're going to hit save as pdf and you're going to hit save and it's going to say what you want to save save what what you saving homie and so you're going to be look don't bother me and it's going to say all right i'm i'm, I'm not going to bother you you want to save it then you go get somebody else to do it and you say no you're going to do it and it's going to be i ain't doing nothing you're going to be like yes you are and it's going to say no it ain't and you're going to say aha i made you do it and it's going to say your computer's just going to blow up in front of you. You're just going to explode and just sizzle and be smoke because you don't get to talk to your computer that way. So, hold on. Save. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody or their grandmother question you as to the process, this was a business relationship. You were dealing with a business entity. You didn't loan out any money, but it is a debt because you have an agreement. If you follow the steps in the video, you'll see why it becomes an agreement, why it becomes an obligatory duty. Then you're going to go to pay attention because this is difficult because some of y'all, this is the video that's explaining to you the steps. Pay attention. You're going to go to SATCOM, S-A-T-C-O-M-911.com. .com. You're going to hit enter. When you get to SATCOM911.com, see, I'm not going to give you the PDD. I'm going to tell you, go to SACOM911.com. And once you get to SACOM911.com, you're going to go to Our Current PDFs. Our Current PDFs. OCP. Oh, my God. OCP. Other Property Current Peoples. Any, you know what I mean. Anyway, you go to OCP. 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 Because that's exactly what it's going to be titled. When you get there, it's going to say SACOM, then it's going to say OCP. See, that says PDF. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the OCP. Sorry. It's PDF. So PDF is. Okay. It's going to take its time. We're going to let it take its time because we got to talk. What you're going to do when you go here, you're going to type in duty to respond. Now, what, what we're going to do, hold on. We're just going to be simple. Come on now. D-U-T-Y. Uh-oh. Okay. Duty. Duty to respond. You see that right there? Duty to... You're just going to put in duty. D-U-T-Y. It's going to pull up this document right here. Right here. And you are going to download this document. This document is your best friend. Your bestest, wested, estes, tested, messes friend. This is your best friend. You want to take this home. I wonder if I take... That's what you want to do. You don't want to wonder about it. You want to take it with you. Okay? Duty to respond. It explains why they have a duty to respond to your contract. Okay. Got it. Hold on now. I gotta go tend to my air fryer. One second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the document that's gonna pull up. You're gonna take this document, you're gonna read or put it through a voice reader or screen reader, and it's gonna read it back to you. You're gonna study it because this is a pay attention. Similar to a law review, this is somebody putting together a paper giving you guys the essence of what the law is concerning your right to arbitrate, your right to arbitrate, your right to arbitrate, your right to arbitrate. Okay? 
but you got to watch the videos on arbitration. If you don't watch the videos on arbitration, then you won't fully understand what arbitration is. And if you don't fully understand what arbitration is, then this ain't for you. You shouldn't even be watching this video. You should have turned this video off a long time ago. I don't know why you're still watching it. But those of you who are going to watch the video on arbitration, this one right here, it's only an hour long, but you're going to have to watch it because we go over the entire contract. The entire contract, not part of the contract, not a little bit of itty witty teeny witty. Okay, polka dot. No, we go over the entire contract. By going over the contract, ladies and gentlemen, you get to know what's going on. Like Marvin Gaye said, you get to know what's going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have tonight, okay? And we're going to let Kenny and Shana Easton take us on out of here to the west and the northern and the southern. You know, we don't have to go east. All right, y'all take care. So, if you want to create tax credits, you do the 1099C. Follow the 1099 video. Follow the 1099 video. You're the creditor. They're the debtor. Okay? Follow the video. That's how you create your own tax credits. I don't know why y'all didn't pay attention. Look, if you go, if you type in Eon Arbitration, hyphen, arbitration, you'll pull the videos up that talk about this. Look, you got that video. Ah, sorry. Wait, did I say tax credits? Arbitration award tax credits. Well, ain't that something? Simple video. It's 11 minutes. But hold on now. If you, I didn't mean to do that, y'all. Hold on. If you click on the short videos and don't pay attention to the lengthier videos, the lengthier videos has all of the evidence, all of the information. See, this is essential elements of an arbitration contract. Proof that your agreement is valid. I would pay attention to that thing. Okay? Look. The next one is only 20 minutes. Contract arbitration process explained in a nutshell, but I would watch the video that's the longer one telling you from beginning to end. This was Brad and Christopher Stark coming up with the release dismissal agreement. Man, that right on the money. The greatest arbitration video ever. Man, I would even watch that. That's only 38 minutes. Okay? But there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, don't say I did nothing for you. Y'all need to create tax credits. Why? So you can become tax exempt. Why? Because you'll never owe taxes ever again because it'll be offset. Same thing the banks do. Why do you think the banks get the charge off and write off stuff? So trust me when I say you need to pay attention. The information has been there the whole time. Everybody keeps asking me about tax credits, tax credits. What can I do with the tax credits? Why don't you get them first and then worry about what to do with them? Okay, hey, look, I got to go because we, to, we got tonight. We also got tomorrow, okay? But we got to go. <laughs> okay? Arrivederci.